like and subscribe. Hello, collective. Welcome to your reading. All right, collective. This is a general spirit check-in, not a one-to-one -one spirit check-in. So you might not resonate with the whole reading. You might not resonate with any of the reading. Whatever you do resonate with, please take what you need and leave the rest behind. Be picking up on your energy or on the energy of someone who's in your energy so if it doesn't feel like i'm speaking about you please switch the energies around creator of the most high grand grandmothers grandfathers and ancestors of the highest realms please bless this reading and bring in the knowledge and the wisdom and the guidance the highest realms Oof. for the collective. Whoa. Thank you. Bring in the messages. All right. What does the collective need to hear? What are the messages the collective needs to hear? Ooh, number five, the closing door. Closing door. All right. So you've completed something. You've come to the end of uh, something here. This is going to be a three card spread. Okay, past, present, and future. For some of you, it hasn't happened yet for some of you it is happening and for others of you it is yet to ha yet to happen okay oftentimes if you don't resonate with the reading come back in two weeks come back in like a month and listen to it and you'll be blown away <laughs> i usually am too Seven. Ooh, seven, fifteen, dust devil on the bottom of the deck. So interesting. Yeah, okay, Mars is going direct too, so I feel like that has to do with this. This is kind of um, okay, let's put that here because it does seem to be almost like an outcome. So though the bottom of the deck is dust devil moving out of stagnation. This could be about you. This could be about the people around you. It could be both. What's under that is horned captives, resourcefulness. <laughs> Yours, I feel. Ooh, what's next off the bottom of the deck is eye of the needle intentionality oh you're gonna go through the eye of the storm you are gonna pass through right through the eye of the storm here going into an unmarked trail something you're doing you're a pioneer about something horseman herald of change herald of change Whew. okay okay you're saying stop there <clears throat> Okay, maybe you're a cardinal sign. Could be a cardinal sign. What are the cardinal signs? Aries. Aries. We uh, Aries. Gemini. Is it Gemini? What are the 
cardinal signs. Now I have to know. I should know this and I don't know it. Cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer. Okay, I was right. Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. I feel like... Either you are a cardinal sign or you are embodying the announcer of change, the bringer of change. You're doing something here. You've closed a door in the past. I feel like this was a very big deal. Whatever door you closed was a very long standing contract with the person, place, or thing. It was long. It was, it was a big deal. It was, uh, Completion of some kind. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, your current energy right now is number 45, repairing the veil, forgiveness. I see this as ascension. You are uh, rising up your chakras. That's what I'm seeing. And I love how these are like tied off and rising up. And there's, there's lightning, little bursts of lightning in between the strands like neurology i see that as like the lightning in the brain of the neurology of new neural networks i'm seeing it as lightning or maybe it's not lightning but i'm i'm seeing it as lightning the new neural networks within your brain neurons that wire together fire together and if they're done enough times they create a long-term relationship with relationship with each other and I feel if that's what you are doing coming into a new way uh, whatever you have done you have done the work where you can afford to change this now you have the energetic financing to move forward in a new way whereas in the past when you were carrying so much lead I feel like that's what closed you had done the work regarding a heavy, heavy work of the past or something you closed off that you completed that was a big deal. And because of this, you now have the energetic financing. Ooh, you have the energetic financing to live in the present moment. And that gives you also the energetic financing to find for forgiveness for whatever it is about the past. It, something is closed within you. I feel like you have made peace with yourself about something in the past. It doesn't mean you're gonna go back to it, but you can now walk away with a sense of okayness, a sense of balance, a sense of <clears throat> healing, wholeness. Feeling heard, feeling, even if it's only by yourself, healing, but you're, you have a new understanding. You have a new understanding because you're coming in, you're coming into forgiveness. And in the card coming up to you in the f future is choices and their consequences. Feast of plenty. Feast of plenty. The two swords that are like, uh, pierced into the crystal, into the sphere. Yeah. It's like two of swords, almost like a truth with yourself. You're coming in with the truth with yourself. When you decided to forgive, I feel like because you're elevating to a much higher, higher place of consciousness, like an antinomian perspective. When you get into an antinomian perspective, it helps you see through situations that were unresolvable. These were unresolvable. Whoever you were dealing with, whatever the situation was, maybe the other person couldn't tell the truth. Maybe whatever situation this was, it couldn't be resolved. It was just, it couldn't be resolved. It's, it's like, it's, um, okay, let me put it this way. <clears throat> Justice is never really served. Like, like, let's say, let's say, um, 
somebody somebody is wronged somebody's house gets broken into and all their belongings their precious jewelry their precious keepsakes are valuable and they get stolen sure okay it gets covered by insurance but that doesn't replace what was stolen that doesn't take that doesn't give back grandmother's ring or auntie's bracelets or whatever the keepsakes were that were important to you um, same thing with you know, the Old Testament way of karma of balancing out a wrong would be an eye for an eye. You know, and even Gandhi said an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind because everybody fucks up, <laughs> you know, and then we walking around totally with our eyes poked out because, you know, now we're up now, you know, oh, OK, let's not even go there. But anyway, <clears throat> it's just it's silly. It's silly. It's not a. So when you get into an antinomian perspective, <clears throat> you're liberated, you are liberated from the rule book in a way. You're liberated from the rule book. You have to achieve this within yourself. It's You have to find the truth within yourself about an, an antinomian perspective. When you're elevated from above, you are elevated, elevated over and above, and you are, what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> excused. You are excused from observing the moral law, which means, you know, doing things by the book, not for you. You're like a, fi a level five shaman. A level five shaman. That's what an antinomian perspective is, is... <clears throat> you see the truth about why things happened, even if it was an injustice to you that hurt so bad, or maybe you saw it happen to somebody else. You know, sometimes it's easier to get to this clarity when it isn't happening to you and it's happening to somebody else. But when it does happen to you and you do get this kind of higher perspective, it is life changing, life changing. Because something in your life could not be resolved, I feel, and you in your pursuit of forgiveness elevated, oh, I'm just getting vertical, elevated to such a point where you could see the symbolic significance of why this happened, not only for you, but for the other person. Whatever happened in the past here, whatever, it doesn't have to be one thing. I'm feeling it's many things. You're seeing them as contracts coming to the earth to fulfill contracts so you can both learn. And when you get into that higher dimensional contract, higher dimensional perspective, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of it's, it's, it's beautiful and it's liberating, but it also collapses the us versus them, good versus evil, right versus wrong. I mean, you can still, you can still see from those perspectives, but you're liberated from them. You have a much, much more expanded perspective of the world, of yourself, of human beings, of why things are the way they are. Things are unfolding according to natural law perfectly, even though there's all this tragedy going on everywhere. Do you know what I'm saying? But people are learning by it. People are... We have to trust ourselves and trust others when they're handed a shitty hand. That people, people will figure it out. People can find their way through it. You know, it it's, may not happen in the way, in the time that you would prefer it or I would, pref I would pref prefer it. Maybe they won't even figure it out this lifetime. Maybe they'll figure it out next lifetime. You know, like it's, I have no right to judge how anybody should live or die. Period. Period. That's not my contract. That's whoever's contract, including myself. How I should, should live or die. That's a hard one because we all have standards that we <clears throat> often live our lives by. You know, I know I do, you know. Okay. Um, so the dust devil moving out of stagnation. So you're going to be coming into not only a truce with yourself because of this higher dimensional, but there is going to be a lot of, it's like you're working with a blank slate. See how the crystal is empty. And this is number two. I believe this is two on the, on, on the uh, zodiacal wheel. So your values. 
So I feel like, ooh, the tomb is the womb. The tomb is the womb. And you are coming through. It's kind of like a death. You've let go of something. You've closed a door. You have completed something. Which means that part of yourself will be experienced differently now. The part of yourself that was plugged into whatever this, whatever's on the other side of this door. So now that you have you have done this work you have a blank sl sl slate the crystal is empty it's clear you're clear yeah i feel like you're very clear because of this antinomian perspective it releases you from the moral law from the good versus bad you no longer see good versus right and right and wrong good versus evil fighting over your soul you know having a tug of war over your soul you now see them even if they are in a fight rah, you see this fight in service of your growth because whatever's going on is going on in your life inside of you so you seeing that makes you see your enemies very very differently you know, make sure you say, you're not, it's not like you're going to go and tell them this either, right? You're going to hold this within yourself and just be like, you can tell the creator, you know, you can tell your ancestors, the angels, whatever you want. You just have to thank you, you know, thank you for these people, <laughs> you know, thank you. I thank you. I get it. I've learned, you know, but it doesn't mean you're going to go tell them because oftentimes they're, they're, they're not going to get it and they're going to be like, okay, first of all, you have this great big liberation and then uh, second of all why the hell are you coming to me <laughs> you know and that's probably especially if they're the ones that were you know wronged you in some way or you had some sort of a dynamic a dynamic with something in the past because forgiveness and your and yourself forgiveness to yourself because you know better now from what you've learned you know better now absolutely okay let's do some clarification what is this closing door creator what is the closing door for the collective what is the closing door what has the collective completed this is some sort of a completion of some kind They're showing me for some of you, this, this light coming from this door. This is you, you're on the other side of this door, closing it. And whoever is left in the dark is watching you close the door. You left somebody in the past behind and left them in relative darkness. You had to, you had to, you, that's their decision. They could have, they could have opened their own doors of light within themselves and being on their own path, but they, they chose to stay back. They chose to not, they don't trust the light because they don't trust themselves. Whoever this is, I'm seeing, <clears throat> oh, that almost made me cry people seeing you because you're the one that holds the light for others of you this could be you watching somebody else also you could be watching somebody else close the door and leave you in utter in utter darkness or what see what looks here like utter darkness but look at the difference between these two cards this is the past this is this is another another present Look at the blue skies. Look at the gold, the gold around the, the base of the tree. You know, 
whatever's happened, even if you, you were left, whatever's happened, you have overcome something. Whether you left somebody else behind and you held the light or whether somebody else held the light and left you behind where you are now is in a very, very different place. So I feel like this, that's what I mean. Whatever this closing door was is huge. It's, it is huge. Very complex. It's not just cut and dry. Like it looked at first glance. And then when I look a little closer and all of a sudden I see all this other information. I feel all of this other information starts coming through. Okay, what is the closing door, creator? What is the closing door? Yes, okay. Nine of Cups in reverse. The star in reverse, oh. Oh. <sighs> this is really hard for you. This was really, really hard for you very painful i won't say hard for you it was very painful for you to close this door or to lose this person whoever you are no matter what happened you loved this person very very much but whatever happened yes whatever happened i'm getting for a large number of you uh, something was unresolvable something could not be resolved it was and and whoever was involved in this couldn't tell the truth about it they couldn't there's the six of swords in reverse yes somebody couldn't tell the truth about it so we have the nine of cups in reverse the star in reverse, the six of swords in reverse, the ten of pentacles upright, the world in reverse, and the empress upright. Okay, I just heard the same storm that destroyed the earth delivered Noah. You went through one hell of a storm. You went through something that was life changing. It was life changing. You went through the culmination of somebody's experiences, the culmination of their experiences. I'm seeing this card in the same, uh, um, in the same dimension as the as the emperor even as the hierophant even somebody that had power over you or had a great sense of power maybe didn't maybe they didn't have it over you but they had a great sense of power you acknowledged it but you something happened that you could no longer You just couldn't stay. You just couldn't stay in this contract anymore. It's like the contract had run its course. Something was done. Something was done. It was finished and over. It was the end of a contract, absolutely. But the same, whatever storm you went through here, it delivered Noah. And that's what I feel this Empress is. This is like some symbolically Noah. Okay, but it's just nothing to do with Noah. That's just the concept of whatever happened delivered you. You were delivered from a dynamic, from mag magnetics and a karmic dynamic, karmic magnetics, karmic wheel. 
because you closed the door, because Because you walked away, you closed a door, you turned your back. Because yes, the Empress has her back to all of it. She has her back to all of this. And that's, whatever this is, it was unresolvable. I don't know what the, I, I, don't, I, I don't know what it was. What is this creator? You're gonna tell us what this is, what's on the bottom of the deck. Is the Ten of Swords in reverse? Yes, I feel like you came out of a Ten of Swords in reverse or your person came out of a Ten of Swords in reverse. Whatever it was. I feel like you were achieving the antinomian perspective even in the past here, because that's what helped you close the door. It's what helped you see, oh, geez, okay. For those of you that have been struggling with a certain relationship with people who refuse to see you, I feel I'm just hearing that they were under contract to not see you. They were under their own contract, but part of it was to not see you so that you are forced to see you. It's not up for your people, not up to them to see you. It's up to you to see you. You are in some sort of contract about being, being invisible. And so you met people who wouldn't see you out of and it's like the the universe was like it is as you say it is oh master if you don't want to if you want to be invisible i will bring people to you that i will determine with them that they won't see you but then when you decided when something shifted in you and you were ready to be seen you were ready to be visible now you were ready to come into the light Yeah. You were ready to come into the light, but held at one point you were held to the earth, pinned under 10, 10 swords, pinned under the weight of very heavy truths, magnetically like mag magnetically stuck under. This is like the dark night of the soul, the dark storm that there's light coming. Now, this is now the bottom of the deck now. The light is over top of all the darkness. The darkness is the, these swords are now rooted in the underworld. Whatever happened, you had to, maybe you had interviews with your archetypes, maybe you had conversations with yourself about whatever this was but you were able to see why, why from a higher perspective, why you were in these relationships or in this contract. And it, it actually, it, it, it helped you leave. It helped you see that this, this is over. It's done. There's really nothing to fix here. There's only that which to see, to become clear, to bow with respect. I see you. I thank you. And I'm out. You know, I'm out. I bow with respect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, but you're out. You're out. Or somebody was out. Somebody saw the truth in themselves. Once that truth, the truth does not release us until it sets us free. So the truth, once you saw the truth or whoever saw the truth here, it released you. It set you free within yourself and then it released you from a situation, from a contract. Whether this is a family, a workplace, a friend, a, a marriage. Um, am I taking those? Yes, okay. Page of the first card out here, the page of wands in reverse. The three of pentacles in reverse. 
the temperance in reverse, the ten of wands upright, beautiful, the three of wands in reverse, and the fool in reverse. Yes, okay. Whatever door closed here, this was life changing. This was life changing. It's like you're not going to have a new ground. You are the new ground. You are the new ground. So I don't feel there is a destination out here yet. Yet. You are the destination. <clears throat> yeah, you are the destination and you will not be rebuilding. You will not be going, <clears throat> excuse me, you will not be going around going for like another round with these people again. Whatever, whatever in you from the past is still in the process of being dis, dismantled within you. Somebody, maybe you, is still hostile in some ways or was still hostile in some ways about what had happened. <clears throat> but something shifted in within you and you began to take responsibility for your life. You began to see, like, yes, this being unresolvable, knowing there's nothing anybody can do or say <clears throat> that can change what happened. The only thing, the only person that can change what happened or that can change your present moment, because what happened, happened. You can't change that. The only thing you can change is taking responsibility for how you let it affect you today or not affect you. You let it propel you forward and strengthen you or tear you down. And I'm feeling like you were no longer allowing you to tear you down but it's now part of your house like the tortoise carries its sh shell on its back it's now part of your experiences that you carry with you part of the, you know the tortoise is very very wise an ancient symbol of wisdom so taking responsibility for your wands for your passions your anger your rage your love your desire um <clears throat> yes because you're looking toward the past also you're looking toward the past. I feel like, and looking toward your own anger, your dismantling of the past, and knowing that you are the destination. Delays, there's delays. Uh, I feel like the creator, you and the creator has made delays in your life regarding like as you're integrating as you're coming inward into yourself and you're integrating this i feel like the, the creator and, and and the universe is is creating delays so that you can just bask within you you can just bask within you you can just bask within you, just basking, just basking within you, coming home to you. I feel like coming home to you has been, it's been fairly recent. It's been fairly recent and fairly new. And it's not anything that you are in a rush to get through or to okay, what's the next thing? Like, it's kind of your, yes, you're putting on like breaks, like um, maybe not answering calls, maybe turning off the internet, turning off your phone, not answering the door, you know, just everybody fuck off. I need to just be my, I need to be me. I need to be alone with me for however long, you know, Absolutely, and there will be no new beginning. 
Yeah, as you're as the as the coyote is facing into the past, there will be no new new beginning. So whatever you're going through here, you're going through some sort of a rebirth through the antinomian perspective here because of this antinomian perspective that has released you from your own magnetics to a situation and then from the situation itself released you from yourself it's almost like from a state of mind that you were stuck in and that state of mind just kind of released like smoke like fog like like you know just released you and there will be no new building with the past <gasps> mm. beautiful creator you were so good nine of pentacles the bear this is on this is the card that is supporting in the middle row so yes you the delay is put here for you it is by the universe also because whatever has died in your life oh i'm just getting major vertigo whatever has died in your life you are being asked even by your own higher soul like do not Don't rush from this process. Don't rush from this process. Whatever has ended in you and door has closed, there's dynamics, lingering dynamics from that contract that is still decomposing. And the decompo de decomposition, because that's what the bear eats. The bear eats carry-on, which is rotten meat. The, the rotten dynamics that is within you, the old dynamics that you have not yet been able to transcend, change, shift. You don't even really have language for them yet. You have, a, you, have, you, you have the feeling of them, but you haven't put language into this yet. Whatever you are still releasing yourself from, the releasing of yourself is happening within the detox of the decomposition process. There are nutrients within the decomposition that aren't found anywhere else. I feel like I'm speaking to somebody who has tapped into their own shamanic understanding, their own inner healer. What does the bear also eat? Salmon. The bear eats berries and he's, you know, like an omnivore, but he also eats salmon. What is a salmon? Salmon swim up from the bottom of the ocean. They swim into the fresh waters and they swim against the current. So that was part of your diet was swimming against the current. Swimming and against the flow of your culture, against the flow of what everybody else was doing. Maybe everybody else was turning to the left and you turned and you turned to the right, turned to the left and you went into the right. But that's what I mean. Your inner healer is online. Your inner healer has come online. The Western door, <gasps> the Western door. Whatever you have done, it has stirred up a lot of shit for people around you. It has stirred up a lot. You've closed a door that has left. Yes, and I feel like this is you. Like, stay the fuck away from me. You, whatever has happened, as much as you are a yes in an antinomian perspective, you still have a, ah! like, don't come near me. Don't approach me i i see why this happened i understand why this happened you still have very much protective your hackles are up your hackles are up like a bear <laughs> your hackles are up you ever seen a bear's hackles go up like <laughs> 
So that's what I feel is that the release is happening through the decomposition process. You leaving and closing this contract is going against is going against the current is going against the flow. I feel like this has been a major tower for the people around you. Not even you closing, but you healing, you rising up, you rising up, you are rising up, going through the eye of a needle. You're not messing around. Whoever you are, whatever you have come through, yeah, you're incredibly resourceful and you're not afraid to get in touch with your anger. What do you think the bear is? You know, people get mauled to death by bears when they approach them, but when they're stupid, <laughs> you know, when they're approaching a wild bear and the bear possibly could maul them. Bears, you know. So this also, Nine of Pentacles, you'll come in, you will see the reward of your hard work. You will see the fruit of this process. You will see the fruit of this process. Feast of plenty. Whatever you have done here, there. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's okay? So, the nutrients, what are the nutrients doing? What are the nutrients doing? Your soul, it's like, is devouring the nutrients from this decomposition process because the nutrients themselves are fertilizing new life fertilizing new growth fertilizing this antinomian perspective At, you know that's a much higher much lighter perspective even that <sighs> fertilizing this growth it's fertilizing this this grow so that's what these nutrients are doing they are fertilization for the new growth that is going to follow this death decomposition process okay what is the two uh the 20 creator the feast of plenty choices and their consequences I just heard it's going to get real. Choices and their consequences. I don't know what that means. It's going to get real. What do you mean by that, creator? What do you mean it's going to get real? Okay, spirituality is not always flowery and lovey-dovey and we all going to join hands and sing Kumbaya. Okay, it's not. Okay. The spiritual domain is the most deceptive domain on the planet. Okay. There are many healers out there that that are people. There are many wolves in sheep's clothing. Let me say it that way. Okay, so it's going to get real. So whatever healing you have been achieving, to get real okay what is this creator what is how is beast to plenty going to get real what is this what is this
You feel there's more that wants to come out. Okay, that's it. So on the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, that's what I was feeling. Choices and their consequences. I kept getting someone else's energy tied up to you, tied up to your blank slate, your clean, your blank canvas. It's like you have a blank canvas now. You have cleared away a lot of the karmic energy in your life. You're coming into new territory, new contracts, new dimensions that your past is fertilizing the death of the past that you have released and honored cleanly is now fertilizing your future, fertilizing your present, but you're still in it. So I'm saying fertilizing the future because you're not out of this process yet. You're still in the process of forgiving, grieving, looking within, looking without, understanding, you know, okay. So yes, you are, whoever is tied up to you sees that you are home. They see that you are home. You have a sense of happiness within and community, a sense of balance, like all four, all four wands, like all four feet, like a cat, like a buffalo, very stable. They know you're a wisdom keeper, the page of cups. They know you're a wisdom, a wisdom keeper. You hold the knowledge, you hold the knowledge within you, the wisdom, fish or food of the deep. So you've been able to grab, to harness the depth within you from the process that you have done. And I feel like it's what, it's what, your process is what feeds you, is what nourishes you. That's what sustains you, is your process, the food of the deep that you're holding in, in the cup here. Beautiful. See, look at that, because your food of the deep and your home both together being very, present you were very present in the present moment that's what i was saying you can afford this work you are in the present moment now you having food of the deep also you are not afraid of grieving you're but you're recovering you are getting over the past what are you getting over now you are getting over because you're looking right towards this king of pentacles King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody who was very animalistic, who was not awake yet. They are older. I feel like this person's older than you, a lot more mature than you. But they're, when I say they matured this energy, I don't mean they improved it. I mean, they allowed this energy to grow and grow and grow. They're, they're, they're animalistic, un, uh, unawakened state of mind they allowed that to grow and grow until it became like um not a good energy like very merciless harsh animalistic um driven by the lower natures almost you know they're not they're just not awake they're just not awake. So you're releasing yourself and grieving, getting over, improving, recovering, rising up. You're rising up as you let go of somebody who was very animalistic, that was older than you. I, I feel maybe a parent, maybe an older sibling, maybe an uncle, a grandparent, a teacher, or somebody, somebody. And you're no longer ex accepting offers from this person nor are you offering this person nor are you coming toward this person 
because there is unrequited love. No new feelings, no new inspiration toward this connection. So that's how it's going to get real is somebody is going to be very hurt because you you are done. It's going to get real. You're going to you're going to be showing I feel like you're going to be coming into your joy, into your like joy and the people you've left in the dark that were watching you leave are going to be looking like in a state of regret dust devil you stirred up a lot of shit and and uh, yes uh, somebody is so, someone is vexed when they look at you whether this is family and for some of you it's also friends people that betrayed you people you thought were your best friends be betrayed you never came clean about it never apologized about it and there was never resolved they are vexed as they look at you because you have recovered you found your own healing whatever happened in the past here that was unresolvable and i feel like it was with family friends oh like everybody's spouses siblings um, even neighbors, you know, some weird long-standing relationship with neighbors that went on for a long time. You are elevating. You are elevating. Beyond this, these people's capacity to affect you anymore because you have come into an antinomian perspective you can access this higher dimension at will. Sometimes, yeah, sure. Sometimes we get ta you get tangled up in the in the lower dimensions of your own reaction of things. That's normal. That's normal. <laughs> that takes a lifetime to overcome that and rein ourselves in. That takes a long time. You know, very much so. Okay. What does Isis have to say about this, Creator? What does Isis have to say about this? So Feast of Plenty. Somebody's going to be watching you start over. They're going to be watching you start over with a clean, a clean slate. I feel like people were expecting you to get some kind of karma, but that's what I mean. You've been... <gasps> You've been elevated above the moral law when you came into an antinomian perspective. So karma does not, it's not, you know, the Old Testament always makes karma and God out to be punitive, you know, punishing, all punishing, you know. When you reach a higher dimension of antinomian perspective, you're above the moral law. You've been, it doesn't mean you can, you can like fuck around and find out, okay? That's not what I mean. I'm not saying to be irresponsible and you can now do whatever you want and not be accountable for it. No, 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 you'll be accountable for it. Trust me when I say, <laughs> okay? But the fact is, is because you're not going to fuck around and find out. That's, you're in such a clear space and a very much in a higher dimensional perspective of yourself and of the world. The people are expecting things that happened in the past for you to get karma from them and you didn't because karma, maybe you did, maybe you did, but they're someone's eyes. They're feeling like you've escaped karma. Like how come they didn't, they were punished for what they did for this or that. Whatever you were doing was not about anybody else, but your own growth. And if people are going to take your growth personal, that's on them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We all make mistakes. We're not doing it intentionally to, I'm, I'm doing this mistake to fuck you over. Like, no, you're doing what you think is right until you realize like, oh, fuck, I fucked up, you know? However you dealt with that, you dealt with it. You, you, 
walked away from parts of yourself from the past that kept you in a very dark place, a very, very dark place. And you came in to the understanding and turned your back on this. You know, people were expecting you to get karma of some kind for whatever reason. And I feel like you're demonstrating to them that yes, you are released from the moral law. You, your karma is not punitive with you. That's too, 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 too many creator. Karma is not punitive with you. Karma, when karma touches you, it's for your awakening. It's for your growth. It's not because to punish you or to reward you. There's cause and effect, choices and their consequences, choices and their consequences. I feel like people are going to be fucked up. <laughs> like, not understanding. Whatever you're representing, people don't believe it's true. Like, it's not that they don't believe that you're true, but they're be they don't believe that the state of mind that you have achieved, they don't believe that even exists. It's not real. It's only like in the movies or in Gandhi or the Dalai Lama or Jesus Christ or some other, like, holy person or whatever, but you're demonstrating it through your life. Through your life. And I feel like people are going to be... <laughs> Like miffed, they're saying miffed. People are going to be miffed. They're going to, they're not going to be able to take their eyes off you. <laughs> Let them. Let them. <laughs> okay. What do you have to say, Creator? Your last word of advice from Isis. Oh yes. Okay. I believe this card is about protection. Pyramid of light, step step your vibration deeper into love. Pyramid of light, step your vibration deeper into love. Okay, pyramid of light. Yeah, uh, psychic protection. That's exactly what this is. Pyramid of light, psychic protection. Okay, I'm just gonna read the first little part there. I'm not gonna read all the all the pages of it. It just kind of explains it a little bit. Okay, as a being as a being growing in significant light, darker energies can become more attracted to you. There is nothing to fear and only more mastery and awareness of the power and protection of divine love to experience. Here is guidance on the skills you have within now to deal with any undesired interference. The pyramid of light confirms that energies have been causing interference with your path and it is time to now end that interference with love and compassion okay so this is what the closing door was about this is what the closing door was about for some of you you've already closed this door for others of you you have yet to close this door you have yet to close this for others of you you're in the process of closing it as a being growing in significant light, darker energies can become more attracted to you. There is nothing to fear and only more mastery and awareness of the power and protection of divine love to experience. Here is guidance on the skills you have within you to now deal with any undesired interference. The pyramid of light confirms that energies have been causing interference with your path and it is time to now end that interference with love and compassion. Yeah, time to close this door. Time to close a door. It's time to move on. You know it. You know what door this is. I don't, but you do. And it's time. I feel like you know this already. <laughs> I feel like you very much know this already. For others of you, you knew it, you've already been acting upon this, you've already been doing it. Beautiful. 
What a powerful, deep reading. This has been incredible. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into this channel. I'm going to leave this, this reading here. Uh, I'll see, see you guys in the next reading. Job well done. Mwah. If you resonated with this reading, perhaps you will like this reading.